My name's Christy Ogg and I'm Director of New Contemporaries and we're delighted to be bringing the Bloomberg New Contemporaries 2015 exhibition back to the ICA for the sixth year running and this is in fact the 16th year that Bloomberg has been sponsoring the annual touring exhibition which has this year been selected by three artists, Hervin Anderson, Jesse Flood Paddock and Simon Starling. We have a number of uh, paintings in the exhibition which deal with that medium's history. James Williams Collins' uh, Fion, uh, for example, behind me, uh, deals with the legacy of uh, 20th century abstraction. We have sculptural works that deal with ideas of um, processes, uh, Pandora, lavenders, panels, very kind of uh, minimalist steel panels painted with jesmonite. There's a process that happens in, in the making of that work. A heavy weight is dropped from above onto the panels, which, which cause the kind of the denting and the, the cracking to appear. Sophie Giller's umbrellas, you know, there's a real sort of fun pop art kind of feel. Her piece is incredibly colourful, it uses, you know, these sort of everyday items. Tomomi Koseki's uh, large pair of clothes which scale up an outfit that her father was wearing in a, in a family photograph to um, the size that he would wear now if he'd continued to grow at the same rate um, and to the same scale as, as his daughter. There's also an element of playing with perceptions in some of the materials around, around the, scu the sculptures. Neil Rock's work, for example, plays with surface and material and viewer perception. As ever, gender and identity is another really strong thematic that runs through the show. And we have explorations of both male and female. Um, gender identities and kind of slippages and transformations between those. Ideas of distribution and consumption are also uh, present in the exhibition. We have uh, Francisco Sousa Lobo's uh, comic book, I Like Your Art Much, which is a homage to another artist, Portuguese artist Hugo Canolas. We also have Scott Mason's screensaver, which is a collaboration between Scott and several other artists, including Harry Burke, um, Francis Scott, and Sally O'Reilly. In terms of consumption and ideas around labour, we have Katie Schwab's beautiful little um, tapestry works, which deal with ideas of time, uh, making, occupation, while Oliver McConney's really beautiful little etchings explore contemporary culture and capitalism. So upstairs at ICA, we have a number of works again that broadly draw out the thematics in the exhibition. We have Jin Han Lee's beautiful shower thought painting, which is behind me, which again refers to American painters from the kind of late 70s, early 80s. We have formal sculptural qualities coming in again with Lydia Brockless's work, um, Andrea Zucchini's uh, two pieces which are upstairs, which have an incredible kind of material resonance to them. The floor-based piece, uh, one of the materials um, included in it is testosterone powder. So again, this idea, I think, of materiality, but also kind of identity uh, being explored. So upstairs in the larger room at ICA, we have a grouping of works that broadly deal with ideas of place and male identity. Kevin Boyd's Hattie behind us, which is very specifically about exploring um, a particular point in his life. Connor Rogers' exquisite miniature paintings, which have been executed on very kind of prosaic everyday items. So behind me is a piece of work by uh, Yu Kanad Chakrabarti called Clifford Torres. And the Clifford Taurus is a mathematical proposition developed by William Kingdon Clifford to describe a spherical object in two dimensions. So this idea of bringing people across time into one location is also echoed in Abri de Schwartz's work, I'll Never Wear Sunglasses, again, which uses texts by Paul Tech, Felix Gonzalez, Torres and Derek Jarman. 
Bloomberg New Contemporaries 2015 is on at the ICA um, from the 25th of November this year right through to the 24th of January um, next year. Through the exhibition there's lots of events happening. All of that information you're going to find on the website, on the ICA website, on uh, New Contemporaries website and you can also um, follow us at hashtag New Contemporaries.